84% of professional actors have experienced stage fright at least once, and the other 16% are totally lying. Hey folks, Lacey Green here for DNews. If it hasn't already, there will come a time in your life where you'll have to speak in front of a group. And when you do, you'll probably experience some form of stage fright. It's that fear in your brain that makes you a little stressed, like what if I trip over myself? What if people realize that I'm actually full of shit? <laughs> stage fright is an interesting thing because it's a manifestation of one of our most primitive concerns, our survival. It's a fight or flight response that everyone has, one which used to protect you from things like saber-toothed tigers. But when was the last time you had to stave off a giant wild animal? Probably never. One of the perks of being at the top of the food chain. In our modern world, saber-toothed tigers are deadlines, bills to pay, finding a mate, what people think of you. Basically, thanks to this evolutionary remnant, toxic stress hormones flood your body over things that don't actually threaten you. When it comes to stage fright, it happens because your brain's hardwired to care about what people think. It's self-protection. The fight or flight response starts with the hypothalamus, it triggers the adrenal glands in your kidneys, and then begins pumping you full of adrenaline. Then your heart rate speeds up, and your digestive system shuts down in your mouth may go a little bit dry, your neck and back contract, trying to force you into fetal position to protect yourself from an impending attack. This happens anytime you feel threatened, not just before going on stage. It's the reason why you could get 100 compliments, but the moment someone says something rude, that's all that stands out in your head. So different people have different stress responses, you know, the person who's gonna throw up versus the person whose heart is just beating a little bit faster. These differences come down to a few key factors, one being genetics. Some people, particularly more anxious or neurotic types, have more intense fight or flight systems. Familiarity with the performance also plays a large role. If you perform something a million times, your anxiety isn't gonna be so bad. Also relevant is how much you care. Are you auditioning for a role? Are you presenting an important business deal? Does your speech decide your final grade? Higher consequences if you goof mean a stronger physical response. So fortunately, there are ways to deal with stage fright. For instance, practice a lot, because like I said, familiarity really helps. Also, breathe. Air is good for you. When I was in high school, I had to give a presentation where my friends told me to breathe into the count of eight and breathe out to the count of eight. And to this day, I still use it when I give talks because it slows my heart down and it soothes the jitters. Another thing that I think helps is if you know how you're gonna start, if you can get a solid beginning in, you're golden. You'll realize, oh hey, I actually got this. And you do. Thanks for joining me, guys. Do you get stage fright? Tell me about it down below and I'll catch you next time.